What is good guys and welcome to the premiere episode of Maknoy, the video channel. What is good guys and welcome to the premiere episode of Maknoy, the video channel where we're going to talk about the things that I love apart from my family, food. We will explore food from everywhere I go and pupuntahan din natin dito sa Dubai yung mga favorite spots namin ng family ko. Random stuff. Because what might interest me, might interest you. And of course, running. Average runner lang ako guys ha. But there could be some techniques that I can share with you on how you can love running also like me. Plus, we can also discuss some practical gear that I've been using just like the shoes that we're going to talk about right here. So let's get right to it. This is the Nike Air Zoom Vomero 14. You know, it's, it's not a perfect shoe, but it's a very well-balanced shoe. I can use it at any pace and for any style of run. This features an engineered mesh for the top. It has the fly wire right here. It has the full length zoom cushion and of course the Nike React foam. I love this so much. I ran a thousand kilometers on two pairs uh, to clarify. Uh, this is my second pair. My first pair was the black one as you can see also there. So why Zoom Vomero 14 ang naging go-to shoe? Ko? To tell you a story, I have been a fan really of the Nike React foam. So you can see here, the Nike Epic React. Uh, when these came out, I had to get a pair because that time, ito daw yung response nila sa Ultra Boost, which was also a nice technology. The Ultra Boost, nakagamit din ako niyan dati when I was beginning to come back to run nung 2017. You know, Ultra Boost has been fair uh, in terms of the cushion talaga when you run, but it, it, I find it too wobbly. This was lighter. You can really feel how, how snappy it was to have this one compared to the Ultra Boost. I also had the Pegasus 35. The Pegasus 35 naman was also a perfect daily trainer for me. Pegasus 35 felt like this one, pero yun, it's a cushion with the Zoom Air. You know, I, I was using the Pegasus 35 and that was the time that I, w I really came back to running again. And you know, this one, uh, I only use this for easy days, but the Pegasus 35 really was my daily beaters from, from long runs to short runs to fast pace, uh, easy days. And nung time na ginagawa yung Vomero 14 and there were leaked images uh, and they said that the Vomero 14 had a full length zoom then just like the Pegasus 35 plus a React foam. I mean like, uh, this is like the dream technology for me. So, talagang inabangan ko talaga na lumabas yung Vomero 14. Luckily, uh, I was able to grab a pair uh, in the Philippines pa yun. Uh, shoutouts to my contact there, giving me a family and friends discount. You know who you are. Now, I was really happy to get this first pair of uh, the Zoom Vomero 14. Just a quick recap, like this shoe, is my first uh, half marathon shoe and it even said here engineered for long distance running you know it lived to its promise the rubber is tough like you can see here this already injured 500 kilometers more but maybe like 520 i think and you can see uh, the thread wear here this is my usual uh, hot spot. You know, the, the base is quite wide. It, it just feels balanced and parang sturdy yung pagkakaapak mo parati. It's a very nice shoe. That's why I was just really a fan of this one. And one thing that I really like about the, the Vomero 14, hindi siya masyadong pinapansin ng mga tao. So, parati din siya lalabas sa outlet because uh, hindi naman siya sobrang hype like, like your Yeezys or like your Jordans. This second pair, nakita to ng brother ko when he had his uh, trip to the Philippines and imagine it was uh, like 50% off so this one is just like 3,600 pesos. Kuha mo na ako kasi yun na rin yung time na magre-retire yung 
that one, the black one. It's very practical. Uh, it's an all-around shoe from from any type of run also. Like especially here in Dubai, I, I run on street mostly. I run on the sidewalks, and sometimes like when when I was training for for the marathon, I had some days where I had to run trail. So even sa sand, pinantatakbo ko siya. It's very versatile. That, that's why I really like this shoe. When I had the Pegasus 35, maybe around 400 kilometers already, parang nararamdaman kong nagbo-bottom out yung, yung toe area. It also depends din siguro on, on how, how you use the shoe. Pero ito, kahit naka 500 kilometers na ako, it's, it's really just like normal pero you know i had to replace my shoes every 500 kilometers because uh, the midsole it's deteriorating and you know sometimes akala mo okay lang pero iniiwasan din natin yung injury so usually like trainers or even manufacturers would recommend 500 to 800 kilometers uh ang lifespan lang ng shoes and then you replace na Okay, so how do you measure the kilometers of your shoes? It's very simple. Uh, it's, it's just through a running app. You're running also to be better tomorrow. Eh? So you don't want to get injured. If you're also a fan of sneakers like me, you'll also get excited to use the shoes because you consume the miles. Niya. Tapos parang alam mo after nitong miles nito, papalit na ang bago. So and eh, kaya rin ako motivated magrun because. Uh, you know, it's, it's giving me more chances, a valid excuse to buy new shoes. So, so I really like the Vomero 14 uh, because uh, of its price. And even here in Dubai, uh, the Sun and Sands port, they also have it on sale. Uh, really good deals with, with that site. And even when you go to the malls, this is not a paid advertisement, by the way. I, I'm, I'm using my own money. But if you want to sponsor it, okay. Lang, okay lang. So, Alright, so now that I'm retiring this one, what, what am I going to replace it with? Hmm. So there you go, guys. I have my third pair of Nike Air Zoom Vomero 14. Please make sure to subscribe and ring that bell if you want to hear notifications for my new videos.